Yes, exactly. So you need to understand your identity element, which remember the nth root of a to the nth power is equal to a. Well, since we have the index is 3, that means we need to look for exponents where the power is 3. Would you guys agree with me? Right? So we want to look at what are our cube numbers. Can we rewrite these in terms of cube numbers? So are any of these cube numbers? Well, I told you guys the reason why I've been giving you kind of so much homework is I want you guys to start being familiar with our cube numbers. So here's just a list of some cube numbers. Um, 6 cubed is 216. Now, I know these because there's only so many problems that <laughs> You, there's only so many numbers that they can give you with these numbers involved. So, but first of all, it, are either of these cube numbers? No. Get the, set, the next one is 7, <clears throat> which I don't have memorized, but it's not 250. I can tell you that. However, can I rewrite these two numbers in terms of one of these cube numbers? Yes. I can write this as the cube root of 125 times 2 minus the cube root of 27 times 2. Does everybody agree with me? Now, what's nice about this, I'm going to go a little bit extra step just because I know some students are still having trouble with this. 125 is the same thing as 5 cubed minus cube root of 27 is the same thing as 3 cubed. So the cube root of 5 cubed is what? 5. Can't take the cube root of 2. Minus the cube root of 3 cubed is 3. So remember, when multiplying, all you had to do for multiplying or dividing, the index had to be the same. And then you just multiplied divided the index. When adding or subtracting, they have to be like terms, meaning you have to have the exact same index and exact same radicand. So if you guys remember, just like we did variables, you don't do anything with the x's when you subtract these, do you? 5x minus 3x is what? 2x, right? The variable, the like term remains the same. So 5 cube root of 2 minus 3 cube root of 2, the cube root of 2 is going to remain the same. All I do is subtract the coefficients. So 5 minus 3 is 2 cube root of 2. Done. Where are you confused at? Where did I lose you?